Hey friends, have you wanted to get off hormonal birth control or are curious about it but don't really know your options? Or maybe you're just a woman trying to become more in tune with her monthly cycle and get rid of some of those period pains that so many of us suffer with. If so, then stick around and I'm so excited to share my story with getting off hormonal birth control and all the things that I've learned and potentially some tools to help you and your journey with either getting off hormonal birth control or alleviating some of those period pains because right off the bat here, the number one thing I want you to learn from this video is that your period should have absolutely no negative symptoms. Okay, that is why we're here. That's why I'm here to share my story with you and help you navigate this monthly cycle that all women go through. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cece and this channel is all about me sharing my stories and the things that I've learned to help you grow and inspire you into the best version of yourself. So thank you for being here. Let's get into today's video. All right, so we'll start from the very beginning with little 15 year old Cece getting her period. I was a little bit of a late bloomer, I guess, but yeah, I got my period when I was 15 and basically until I was 18, it was super irregular. I only got it a handful of times a year. Didn't think much about it, whatever. It was just something that I had to deal with from time to time. I didn't think about it so much as it's supposed to be this monthly thing that happens every month. Like for me, it only was a few times a year and oh, that's normal, it's irregular, whatever. I didn't think too much about it. When I got to 18, I was like, okay, maybe I kind of want to regulate my body a little bit and maybe I should get on birth control so I have a period every month. Well, little did I know that being on birth control, the period that you get is not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real period. Birth control stops your ovulation, therefore stops your real period. It's basically just withdrawal bleeding that happens. I did not know that. I was like, I want to regulate my period. So I got on the pill despite my mother's angst towards birth control. She's always kind of been against it in that she's like, it's going to cause breast cancer. Don't take anything hormones. That's bad. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, if only I would have listened to you, mother. But that's not the point. <laughs> I was on the pill for about a year and I kind of hated it, honestly. I kind of got my period every month and then if I missed a pill, I would literally be spotting for two weeks sometimes. And it was just so annoying. I felt like I always had my period when really I was just spotting like literally all the time. So I just decided to stop taking it. And that was my freshman year of college in the very beginning. So I just stopped taking it and stopped getting my period at all, really. Um, basically, we'll get into the story another time, but basically I was too thin to for my body to produce a period. <clears throat> yeah, so basically in college, I lived period free, no birth control, nothing for about three years. And then I started dating somebody and I was like, okay, maybe I should go on birth control again. Uh, don't want to do the pills. So I got on an IUD, which I got the Kylina. And so I wanted like the least amount of hormones. They all have hormones, no matter if it's a lot or a little, they all have hormones that are being put into your body, which honestly for some people is okay. And some people need birth control and it's very helpful. That's amazing and great. And I, there's no, absolutely no shame on you if you are on birth control or if you want to be on birth control, hormonal birth control. I'm just telling you my experience and what I've learned from getting off it. Anywho, <laughs> yeah, so I got the Kylina and again, basically didn't have a period for the next three years. And I actually loved the Kylina. I just like kept living my period free life, you know, would spot sometimes here and there, but really it was never an issue. Sometimes I would get um, breast pain here and there, which I was like, oh, whatever. It's just hormones, like whatever. That happens to everybody, right? Also, I probably grew up like a lot of you did learning that periods are horrible and painful and it's so hard to be a woman and have this thing that we have to deal with. It's so annoying and just all these kind of like negative 
things towards your menstrual cycle and that really like shaped me because I was like yeah I'd never get a period woohoo like I never have to deal with all that stupid woman stuff like I loved I loved it it's so interesting to reflect on that and where I am now with like absolutely loving my cycle so we'll get into all of that but we'll continue the story so the Kylina lasts about five years is when they want you to either get it out or get a new one and about three and a half years into my IUD I started experiencing extreme breast tenderness like so painful I couldn't even like walk they grew like three sizes every time I walked it was just like ow 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 it was so painful and I started getting these crazy mood swings like literally I remember I was actually in Korea teaching English at the time and I remember literally just thinking everybody hated me my life was going nowhere like I was a horrible person I was a piece of shit I was you know everybody just hates me and I should just rethink my entire life <laughs> It was like so horrible and I just couldn't stop crying and I just didn't know why it was crazy. Literally one day my co-teacher looks at me and goes, you can go home early and, and take a rest. Go, go home, please. Because I just was like crying and I literally like start crying then. I'm like, thank you. Oh gosh. <laughs> so crazy. And then boom, I got my period. And you know, when you get your period, all of your hormones go down so they have certain times of your cycle where they peak and then there's during your period they all go down way down and so I finally kind of felt normal again and I was like oh my period hello like I haven't had you in a while how you doing <laughs> and uh, I was kind of confused because obviously I haven't had it in so long so I was like okay maybe my IUD is like kind of running out a little bit and I would have just gotten it out in Korea but they don't Korea doesn't have free birth control so it would have been $300 to just get it taken out and if you've ever had an IUD taken out it literally takes five seconds and for me it was painless which is great I know some people it hurts but yeah I was not about to pay $300 for that <laughs> so I still had like eight months before I was going home so I was like oh whatever like if it's just worn out or if there's just a little bit of hormones like no big deal like I started getting my period every month and this is also about the time I learned about cycle syncing and about healing your hormones and natural ways of birth control and you know pain-free periods these were all new kind of concepts to me about two years ago when I started looking into all this stuff and so I really started learning more about cycle syncing and kind of trying to do a little bit of it but of course you know when you're learning about something things in the beginning are often you don't really know what you're doing so also still being on hormonal birth control it didn't do that much for me um like I was still you know having painful period symptoms like breast tenderness, getting some acne, weight gain, things like that. So about nine months from that point I started getting my period in Korea again to when I got home and got the IUD taken out and I was going to see my now boyfriend Logan and we were going to be separated for a very long time. So I really want to get off hormonal birth control but obviously like don't want anything to happen right before he leaves for a very long time and so i got the nuva ring which is like a temporary what was temporary for me and so the nuva ring is kind of like the pill in that you replace it every month but it like lives in inside your vagina basically yeah then you take it out and whatever so i was on that for just two months and honestly i hated it i literally gained 20 pounds um in just like two months. I had already gained a little bit of weight from my other birth control, but I didn't really associate it with the birth control until after I got off and the weight, like, it wasn't even like I had gained like fat per se. It was literally inflammation. I was so puffy and just so, I just had like extra puff on my body like everywhere. And then when I got off everything, it just literally all came off in like a couple of months it was kind of crazy and so I didn't really associate it with my weight gain with birth control at the time it was more of something that I noticed after that I was like oh my gosh like that's something that is correlated that doesn't happen to everybody that was just my experience with the NuvaRing and with the IUD and honestly with the pill I, I lost a lot of weight when I got off the pill as well so April 2023 
is when Logan and I were gonna be separated for a long time. I was like, this is the perfect time to get off hormonal birth control, figure out how to do it naturally, learn about my hormones, learn about my body, and begin to actually sync my cycle. So I got off birth control, and let me tell you, it was the best decision I have ever made, but it has also been so difficult, so hard, and so like emotionally challenging, trying to just like understand what my body is trying to tell me. And it's just been a roller coaster, but literally the best decision I ever made for myself. I've absolutely fallen in love with my cycle and the seasons of who I am and honoring the different energy levels that I have during each phase of my cycle. I love coming up for recipes for each phase. I love exercising for each phase. It's just, I love honoring my body and what it needs and what it's asking for in each phase of this beautiful cycle that women get to have. It's such a huge shift from when I thought that periods were horrible and I'm so lucky to never have a period being on birth control and whatever and you know it's such a big shift from that and now I'm absolutely loving it and I just I love being a woman. It is such a gift to be a woman and to go through these cycles and just really hone the energy and the magic of each phase and just, mm, it's so good. I just cannot imagine hating something like that anymore. It's just, it's so magical. Okay, so to continue on the story, getting off birth control, I learned about the temperature method. So that is basically when you take your temperature every morning when you wake up and record that. And so basically when you're ovulating, which is the time that your egg is fertile, you your temperature will spike. And so I was kind of frustrated with this method. It was really all over the place. I just felt like I wasn't doing it right and it was very confusing and yeah, I just kind of hated it. And then I started to learn about your cervical mucus or your white stuff. Basically, your body literally tells you when you are most fertile. So again, during ovulation, when the egg is fertile, your mucus becomes really wet and really slippery, basically like a slip and slide for the sperm to reach the egg to fertilize it. And so those are the days that you're most fertile. So if you're trying to prevent pregnancy, obviously don't have sex on those days. If you're trying to get pregnant, those are your days. Basically, you're only actually fertile for about six days of your cycle. That maybe like four or five days leading up to the ovulation day and then maybe the day after. So really, you really only have to be aware of those those five days if you are trying to prevent or get pregnant, which is amazing. Like our body literally is telling us like, hey, we're fertile, let's go or whatever, you know, like that's so cool. And so I started using that method instead of the temperature method, which I've been doing that for the past about six months now. And I finally feel pretty confident in it. It definitely takes time to learn your mucus and learn about, oh my God, it's really raining. I don't want to go inside. It's fine. Maybe I can wrap it up quick. <laughs> Probably not. I have so much to say still. Okay. Um, we'll, fi we'll finish it out in the rain. <laughs> um, so basically your cervical mucus is, like I said, only fertile in those like five or six days leading up to your ovulation. And pretty much the rest of the time, it's going to be either dry or like just not super wet. And in those times you are not fertile. And then of course, during your period is blood. Sorry if this is gross, but I think it's super cool. <laughs> super interesting. Like your body literally shows you everything that you need to know. Like so cool but i just feel so empowered over my body and knowing my hormones and the intuitiveness of it all and confidence in controlling my pregnancy and controlling my fertility and just like again honoring each phase and and who i am in each phase and and how I can best serve the world and serve myself in each phase. It's just like so empowering. It feels so good. Mm, love it. But let me tell you, it has definitely not been easy. It has definitely been a journey. It is very difficult at times. And sometimes you think your body's saying one thing, but it, you, then you think it's saying another thing and then you're all confused and you don't really know. And it's, it's, it's a lot and it has been really difficult but it's, it's 
been amazing. And like I said in the very beginning of this video, you guys, like you should have no painful period symptoms. Things that I dealt with that I no longer deal with anymore was that breast tenderness, acne. Basically, I healed my gut also and don't deal with constipation anymore. Um, I don't have cramps. I was getting headaches for a little bit. Like these are all things that kind of came and went as I was getting off birth control because again, I was just balancing my hormones. I'm still in the process of, of making sure that they're, they're balanced and taking care of my body every, every cycle and ensuring that I don't get any of these symptoms anymore. Oh yeah. And that emotional roller coaster. Of course I still, you know, have days where I'm a little more sad or I'm a little more energetic, but it's not like this crazy, like impending doom of my life anymore. It's like, okay, I'm a little sad. Maybe I'll, you know, take a bath today or, you know, give myself a little extra love or whatever. Cause I'm feeling a little sad and that's okay. You know, everyone feels a little sad sometimes, <laughs> but it's just, having control over all of those things that, that are painful, typically that are associated with periods, just gone. They just go away. Once you balance out your hormones, once you sink your cycle, eating the right foods, getting rid of toxins, it's just, it, it's a fucking process. And you've gotta be in for the ride if you really wanna do it. And just know that if you do have any of these negative symptoms, it's your body talking to you and telling you that something is out of balance. And there are so many ways to get it back into balance and it does take time and it does take effort but i believe in you if you really want to do it you can you can you absolutely can and i hope that by sharing my story that maybe you have a similar story and you feel seen and you feel like you can relate to me in, in any part of my story or you know, you are questioning getting off hormonal birth control, but don't really know how. I have so many resources for you. Number one, Read in the Flow by Alyssa Vitti. I'm gonna link it. It's such a great book to just introduce you to cycle syncing and telling you what's going on in your body during each phase of your cycle. And I definitely plan on making more videos about cycle syncing, what I eat during each cycle, how I exercise, what I like to do different things like that because it literally has been so amazing and I would love to share that knowledge with all women who are potentially struggling with any negative period symptoms who maybe want to get off birth control but feel don't feel empowered in yet in controlling their their ability to get pregnant or not and and yeah I definitely hope to be a good resource um Definitely many more videos coming soon. I just wanted to share my story and I hope that you guys learned something from this. I hope that you feel inspired to maybe just learn a little bit more about cycle syncing, even if you are on hormonal birth control and the rain is starting to come down. So I am gonna wrap this up really quick. Quick little disclaimer, I am not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. I highly encourage you to get in touch with your doctor if you do want to plan on getting off your birth control or looking for other more natural methods like talk to your doctor this is not medical advice i'm just sharing my story here and telling you what has worked for me what has empowered me into loving my cycle and honoring each phase and i'm just happy to share my story and the things i've learned and i love you all and it is definitely starting to rain so i'm gonna go inside and i will see you guys next week ciao ciao Thank <laughs> you.